How do you go about creating psychological plans, trader psychology, and trading? People go through a lot of trouble, particularly during Christmas holidays and then the start of a new trading season. And they really explore their, their trading. They look into all the nuances and they set achievement goals. They sit there and say, we're going to incrementally do this. We're going to do this the way the scientific method we've learned in business, you know, setting goals and all that kind of stuff, achieving, achieving a particular kind of goal. And then they say, okay, well, we're just going to apply that model to trading. And then what happens is they, they do it and it works to an extent. And then there's this little piece that happens to keep popping up, trading psychology. No matter how much you sit there and try to say, okay, we're going to quantify this. We're going to make this thing happen. We're going to take it step by step. This is what we're going to achieve. What we discover is that with our trading psychology, it doesn't listen to that. It's like uh, they're two different animals. All that stuff that you learned in the business model and corporate culture about setting goals, really all that stuff. And then how do you set a goal about your trading psychology? It doesn't follow the same drummer. What's going on here? You know, you can build all these plans going, okay, I'm going to be a disciplined trader. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. I'm going to read all these. I'm going to have these affirmations, all this stuff. And I'm going to get my mind right. I'm going to have positive thinking. I'm going to have the affirmations. I'm going to have the visualizations. I'm going to have all that stuff. I'm going to finally master this and I'm going to move on. And you fall right on your face. Okay. And usually then some, you give a lot more back. The key is what's going on. Well, the big difference, friends, is that, unfortunately for you, is that trading isn't really about achieving. Success in trading is not really about achieving, about winning, about losing. It's about performing. And what you're doing is you're saying, I need to build a performance mind that it's not hooked into winning. It's not hooked into growth. It's not hooked into that. It is right here, right now, taking advantage of whatever's being offered it. Do you hear the difference? I'm not out to achieve something, make something happen. I'm actually sitting and building a mind that is learning how to wait, very patiently I might add, for things to arrive and then to execute. And it's in that execution that the trader has to learn the winning and losing in a different way. Because in that winning and losing, really it's called, I win when I perform well. I lose when I don't perform well. So what I'm trying to do is I'm learning how to make sure that I am in a place where my psychology is built and I can handle anything. I can handle basically winning and losing because it's no longer about me. I want you to hear that is it's no longer about me. Winning and losing will take care of themselves. What happens with you? You have control over one thing. The mind that you bring into the moment of performance. And in that moment, in that, in that space, you're not in control of outcome. You can't make things happen, even incrementally. What you can do is you can maintain mind and you can say, ultimately, my job is to build a mind from a brain that can handle uncertainty where I don't know what's going to happen. But I know that if I perform well, the edge that I have and through all this uh, other kinds of goals that I've set, I have an edge that if I have my psychology there, then I execute it. Do you see why the kind of corporate planning and achievement and saying, okay, this is incrementally what we're going to do. We're going to achieve this, this time, stuff like that. What do you want to force yourself to do? No, that's not what we're doing with psychology. What we're doing with our psychology is self-mastery. We're actually looking at it and realizing we have no choice but to look down at our, some of our deepest fears. We have to look and see, you know something? We're going to take losses. 
How do I handle losses? How do I soothe myself, calm myself, and learn to go at the very, very depth of my being to be able to find that part of me, okay, that's okay with winning or losing? This is the place, friends, because, you know, ultimately, the, the model of setting goals and stuff like that's all about winning. And it just so happens in trading, you don't have control over winning. You don't have control over losing either, but it's really easy to show up on the wrong side. So the deal is, if you're going to be able to build a psychology of trading and start say, what is the goal? Well, the goal is very simple, to build a mind that is very performance-based and looks at the thing that it control is in fact its performance. Okay, that's what you can control. Then you go, how do I build it? Well, not incrementally. What happens is you actually have to take the foundations of your beliefs, your beliefs about your ability to be able to control, not the outcome, but the mind you bring to the moment of performance with uncertainty. That's very different. As a human being, you're going to have difficulty with that, okay? Most likely, the family you grew up in is also going to be part of the cause of the problem. It's not like the families are bad or anything like that. They just simply want you to survive. They don't, they, they don't want you to lose because losing to the caveman meant death. So you're looking at it and going, oh, I have to reorder the very mind I inherited from history. Yeah. Not only that, you're going to also have to reorder the mind that got shaped in your family of origin, your extended family, your culture, the times, events, all that stuff, so that you can step back out of that and recognize this is all my sense of reality. It's all observer generated. That observer is what sees all that stuff on the screen. And it starts making decisions. What you want to learn how to do is to be able to produce an observer that can look and see what are the beliefs that I'm carrying in that are holding me back. That, friends, when you learn that and you boldly go, oh, I need to uncover these. I don't need to cover them up, pretend they're not there, set some more goals and ignore this part of myself. No. In trading, this has to be mastered. And in mastering it, what you learn is that a whole new door, a whole new way of being shows up. And trading actually becomes kind of boring. Okay? It's not all that exciting stuff and stuff like that. It's fairly boring. Then what you can do is you can say, okay, I can create an observer that can generate a very different reality. Okay? That's what you're looking for, friends. It just so happens we teach that. I would love for you to check out our website check out more of the videos, check out our courses that actually teach how to do this, or check out my book. Lots of different stuff. The website has lots of free stuff, lots of ability to knock on tires and stuff like that. And really you can begin to see what it's going to take for you to take the brain and mind that you brought to trading and to reform it into the mind that can produce the success you're seeking with your planning. Okay? Come and visit us. Let's take a look. Let's make this a new year that's really worth engaging.